Hey and welcome back to Junkster. I'm here with that Italian guy, aka Chris, and we're gonna play more Heart Gold Soul Silver Randomized Nuzlocke Versus. Yes, indeed. Yes. I this episode, I am going to try to go against Bugsy, and I took the wrong spider. Oh, that's right off the bat. I always do that too. The first, the first one. Yeah, it gets me every time. It's uh, trying to calculate it in my head what it is. It's the this this spider right here. The one on the far left. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Elite you Trainer Bob. The one on the left. That what the significance of that is? What now? Uh, just his name was Elite Trainer Bob. Actually, her name, its name, their name was. Elite Trainer Bob. Fascinating. Yes. Did I battle the twins? I did, okay. So you had a story, right? Yes. Do tell. Story time! <laughs> I mean, all that happened <laughs> was... Whoops, I accidentally talked to Sugar Mama. Was I was waiting for the bus one uh, Saturday... And I get the bus from the time I get off work. Also, I'm fighting Bugsy. Um, hold on. Maybe it shouldn't have been this episode I tell the story since I have to focus on the battle. <laughs> we'll just focus on the battle first and then tell the story. Oh, the Torchic is level 17. Wow. Yeah. And it raised its attack, so I'm probably going to oh. shut it with a fake out. <laughs> Let me see this. Oh, it got it to have health before a berry sure. with a fake out. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Why did I use withdrawal? No. What, I missed what a bullet. I missed a uh, comet punch. <laughs> oh. That was it. Nothing Not bad. a comet punch. Nothing actually bad. My god, Comet Punch, one Comet Punch did so much. I, I beat the Torchic. God damn, that was his highest Pokemon too. Why don't yeah. you have like a Mewtwo next? No, it's Noctowl. Oh. Who do I have that can go against the Noctowl? No one. Uh, Sarah. Well, it doesn't know any rock moves. Oh, never mind then. Never mind. I mean, I can still use it to use like Headbutt. Yeah, there you go. What's up? Oh no, fuck that. Hey, I gotta get to have a war turtle after this match. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why not use Metal Claw, which I just got? Oh, there you go. It's stab. Stab, and it's. could raise your attack. Oh, that's true. Plus, it's using Uproar, which is not effective at all. Take that, Sea King, you over-glorified goldfish. But anyway, I was, uh, you know, waiting for the bus, because it's sometime from the time I get off work to the time the bus comes, just minding my own business, just listening to music. I think I also brought, like, a, a, a game to play, so I was playing that, too. Mm -hmm. And from the corner of my eye, I see a lady come up, like, with a stroller. My God, I was probably taking her kid for a walk. And then she, like, starts talking to me as she sits down right next to me. And I couldn't hear what she said, so I like took out a headphone. And I was like, "I'm sorry, what'd you say?" She's like, "Oh, you're waiting for the bus too, eh?" The I'm like, "Yep." She's like, "Cool, cool," and just you know, just starts talking to me like, "Oh, this person has a Dragonite." Ooh, that's fun. Use a uh, use Boeing. I don't have any dragon moves. <laughs> oh, never mind. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna put out Sugar Mama. And fake it out. So, like, I'm obviously, like, listening to music and obviously doing my thing, but this person is still talking to me. But I'm like, you know, I'll just talk to them, I guess. Yeah. So then she starts complaining about her issues. <laughs> oh, my God. And I check the time because she's like, when does the bus come? And I'm like... In 30 minutes. Oh, Lord. And that was this was how she started it. And she also goes, oh, yeah. So then I got to She then says yeah, like, her next bus, which is my next bus. 
So I'm like, oh, cool, I have to take that one as well. Also, I just beat Bugsy. Nice. And she's like, yeah, that's, that's oh, then we'll guess we'll just be, you know, following you. I'm like, yeah. She's like, yeah, I live in Irvine. Don't tell me the she, city I live in. Don't tell me she lives in your apartment complex. She does. <laughs> wow! She said, yeah, I live at these apartments. I'm like, those are my apartments as well. She's like, oh, then we'll f- follow you all the way home. Wow, that's, that's kind of crazy. It's, it's kind of clear that she didn't have anyone to really talk to. Mm-hmm. As well as she was a single mother. Uh, so like she just kept talking to me about her issues and other things i mean i was being nice and like put away the game and put away my music and was listening to her but it's like at the same time i was just like can you i want to just you know let me listen to to my thing (laughs) so then we get to the second stop and the bus schedules are always really shitty Mm -hmm. oh i'm an idiot there's a lever right next to bugsy but um Will this take me back? It will. Cool. So, by the time we got to the second stop, mm-hmm. the second bus that we needed to take was literally on the horizon. Oh, damn. And, yeah. And that's how it works sometimes. Because I, I was taking it on a Saturday, so there's an alternate bus that I normally take. Because usually when the first bus gets to this stop, the second bus is just there. And you have to run to catch it. Sometimes this was oh. one of those cases where you would have to. Sorry, game the sick. Uh, no um, trash man. Oh, well, I'm telling the story, so yeah. So you like sometimes you do have to run to catch it. Sometimes you don't. That's just how the buses are currently. They haven't always been like this. Just recently, they are. Um, where am I going next? <laughs> uh, through, the, through the through the through the woods. Uh, you have to go to the left. Um, be careful because there's a rival battle. Okay. So I have to go through... Is that Ilex Forest? Yes. And then make my way to Golden Run. Okay. Yeah, for duty. Yes, sir, Rudy. I'm going to keep... Uh, yes, sir, Ritos. At the, at the front. <laughs> yes, sir, Ritos Auto Square. All right, here's the rival. All right. Anyway... So we get off the bus, and I check and I see the bus, so I'm like, all right, I have to hurry to catch this bus. Mm -hmm. But, you know, she has a kid. She has to put out the stroller in her couple of bags, put the kid inside the stroller, so she's taking her time. And I'm just like, eh, I don't want to just leave her behind, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. So I'm like, all right, I'll walk fast to try to flag down the bus. Uh Uh-huh. And if, if I happen to miss it, I happen to miss it. And of course, I'm like almost there, and then the bus passed the stop and just, you know, drives away. That's a mag mortar. Bro, that fucking sucks. I That's why I hate public transportation sometimes. Yeah. But, and the next bus wasn't for another hour, so. Ugh. I went, I went to go, like, you know, tell her, like, yeah, the next bus is in an hour. And I could see the look on her face was just so sad. And Ooh. she's like, I hope. No, she was sad because. She's like, I hope we didn't make you miss the bus. Aww. Which I didn't want to tell her, like, yes, because partly yes, but it was also my decision because I didn't want to just leave her behind. You're, good, so, you're a good guy, man. You're a good guy. I don't care what they say about you. I, I didn't miss it. Like, I, did, I, I, I you didn't make me miss it kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And she, to pass the time, there was a market nearby. So she's like, I'm going to go over there. Do you want something? I can get you something. I'm like, no, thank you. I'm, I'm good. Because I have a hard time accepting things from people. Yeah. So she's like, are you sure? Like, kept wanting to, like, get me something for, like, you know, missing the bus. I'm like, I'm absolutely fine. So I just waited at the stop for the bus. And then, uh, you know, she comes back and starts going over, like, more of her backstory. Mm-hmm. And, uh more of her life and shows me that her other kid has a tiktok who's like 16 or 17 hmm. and other things meanwhile the other kids like give me attention too because you know she's doing all the talking to me and not giving her the attention and then the next bus comes and you know she has some groceries with her so now she's got more things uh. so by the time we get to the last bus stop 
it's nighttime at this point, and she's got a lot of stuff, and I'm just like, all right, would you like me to walk you home? Because it's night, you got a lot of things, I don't mind helping you kind of thing. Yeah. And she's like, are you, she's like, are you sure? Like, you've done, you've already, like, you know, heard all, heard all my issues. I don't want to have you do this more. I'm like, it's all right. So, I okay. walked her home. What's funny is I, I asked her, like, would you like me to, like, carry your things? And she's like, no, I'm good. And then, like, halfway through, she's like, can I take you up on you carrying my stuff? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I can carry your stuff. So, yeah. She was very thankful and stuff. She lives, like, a few a few things down from where I live. Uh, but oh. I haven't seen her since. And kind of hope I don't run into her again because she was very talkative and I'm very introverted. <laughs> Yeah. So I was very, I wasn't too uncomfortable, but I was uncomfortable because, like, I had to talk to somebody in this instance. So. Yeah. Hashtag good guy, Max. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, I felt good afterwards. I'm like, yeah, I did something good. Kind of thing. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah pretty... that's, that's my story. That's funny, because, like, I, I, I kind of felt... Like, I knew where this story was going to go, too. Where what did you think it was going to go? Well, like, I no, no, no. It, like, exactly, like, that she lived in the same apartment complex as you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was like, this guy's about to tell me that she lives in the same <laughs> apartment complex. That's funny. Man, my accuracy is hella low. Bro, that didn't jack. God, diddly funny, damn. Funny enough... The rival has a mag mortar and a magmar, the because f- the starter is the magmar. Oh, that's kind of funny in a sense, because it's like you thought my starter was good. Wait till you see this. I mean, I two shot it with whiskey, oh. which was many levels under. Well, whiskey's just a fucking op then. It's a whisk cash. Yeah, he's just op. It also knows Aquatail. Oh. Yeah, 2 OP. Hashtag Wissies 2 OP. I guess. I mean, Sugar Mama almost fucking beat its ass. The Magmar's ass, even though it's three levels under. You know, I, just you saying that makes me picture a fucking Kangaskhan just beating a fucking Magmortar up for its money. He's like, you you really want to go through this? Well, just no, this punch is a it in the face. Now. Oh, I meant, well, either one. I know what you meant. Yeah. You really want to go through this? Give me your lunch money! Just starts socking it in the face. I mean, um... Sugar Mama's a single mama as well, so it needs oh. the money. Yeah, dude, it definitely needs the money. This, mo- this money's for met, the formula! If I, if I had only met this lady before getting the Kangas Khan, I would have totally named the Kangas Khan after the lady. Oh, that would have been pretty funny. Well, not it funny, but like kind of cool, in a sense. Yeah. I mean, I can still, like, go to the name raider wherever we meet them. It's in Goldenrod, actually. Oh, right, yeah, I can do that. Change the name of a few of my Pokemon. Yeah. God, yeah, I, I kind of... What's s- weird is I couldn't quite hear her when she told me her name. Because mm-hmm. when she first told me her name, I thought she said her name was Hotness. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, <laughs> so this is the person I'm sitting with. <laughs> <laughs> a stripper <laughs> but no it's it's Hannes Hannes that's yeah an interesting name yeah sorry I threw, threw a bottle in my trash can it's alright well whiskey's gonna take it down not because it landed a hit or anything but because of the ice hail thing that it produces no warning is gonna, yeah it's just gonna nice. take it out with <laughs> <laughs> with that oh my god whiskey he's gonna die no whiskey's gonna die yes it's a 2 hp oh poor i just whiskey. made the magmar faint so hopefully i don't take hail damage oh i don't oh, oh, oh i was about god. to say whiskey you bet you better be praying and that you don't you, you don't get fucked oh god whiskey was literally on 2 hp um, how close are when you? I defeated the rival Dr. Chris. Dr. Chris? I'm not a doctor. Trust me, I'm a doctor! <laughs> uh, nobody gets that reference, actually, I don't think. 
What was the reference? As trust me, I be a doctor. I don't think I get it now. It's from Family Guy. Oh. Hey, I think I blocked out a lot of Family Guy stuff because I watched it too much and then so much of the internet complained about it that I'm like, all right, I'll forget I ever watched this show. Yeah, I, I, I only remember the, the early stuff. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done this because I just realized we're probably at like the end of the episode. We are. Well, what'd you do? I talked to Whitney. 